This today is about my happy place. This and this put me in my happy place every time. Today's shoot is just on camera flash. I use the 50 millimeter and I use a 21 millimeter for a model. Yes, it happened. Um, anyway, come join me for this shoot because it is just, it's so much fun. And this is my happiest is when I'm shooting this simple setup on camera flash directly on top of the flat camera. I just love this setup. I love to shoot like this. It's so much fun not to have to think about anything. You know, minor adjustments for the flash because you're farther or closer because I don't use it on TTL. It's straight manual with, with this flash and this camera. Um, this is the Fuji, by the way, the EF-X20, uh, the Leica M11. I'm using the Sumalux, and the 21 is the Super Elmar 21 F3.4. Um, anyway, come and join me for the shoot. It's, it's going to be a blast. And Emily's back. Um, this is her only her third shoot. And my God, are you going to notice a difference in her posing and modeling? Um, I think you will. Enjoy. And thanks for watching as always. So as excited as I am, was <laughs> for shooting on camera flash, on the post-production side, not so much. Um, the, the client was clothing and they wanted, you know, the background changed. Uh, so I used the gray backdrop and, you know, drop in the types of backdrops they wanted, grungy and so forth. And, and I hate doing that in post-production. I just hate anything fake in photos. But when the client says, this is what I want, you go, okay, I could do that. <laughs> and you just do it. Now, getting that part out of the way, um, I'm going to go to white soon and, and be in my happy place again, even in post-production. But when when setting up your on-camera flash like this, you know, I, I, I know like some people are still afraid of shooting a manual and, and worried about this and, you know, have to pixel peep every three seconds, which is not unusual, you know, and, and don't feel bad for doing it. Just don't make it as obvious to, to a client when you're doing this. Um, but set your flash at, you know, your usable working distance. So say if you're going to be working at five feet, set your flash for that, you know, get that locked in on where it wants to be. Now I was shooting at ISO 200, um, one eightieth of a second and F 3.4 to F four. Um, and you know, the flash is, is set and it, like right here, I moved in closer and I knew I had to take the flash down just a little bit. When I move further away, I just take it up a little bit and you're going to get this rhythm of not even have, having to look, um, uh, because if you're at your, you know, set distance, say five feet and you already have that setting, um, then if you just move closer or farther, you just go up a bump, go down a bump, that's it. Um, and it, it'll become second nature to you. You just have to know your flash, get used to your flash, um, at, especially on camera like this, and it, it won't change. And it, if there is a slight change, it, it can be taken care of in post. Um, but you'll be able to do this in no time. Just practice it, you know, get that first setting done, know your distance, and then go back and forth. Now, the other thing with Leica flashes for you Leica users, now you can set, um, if you're using a Leica flash, a Leica branded flash, you can set your shutter speed to 250th of a second. It'll work in 250th of a second. And now Leica flashes also do high speed sync. Here's the, the, the caveat to that though. If I'm in manual mode, I can shoot 250th of a second. But if I'm in, um, if I want to shoot TTL, I have to be in auto mode or TTL mode. It will not shoot high speed sync when it's outside of TTL mode. I don't know why. Um, I don't know the reasoning for this, but that's what it is. Again, this, I'm on my white background now. This is going to be straight out of camera stuff. I love this. This is the way I like to shoot. Uh, this is what I'm happy with. I'm shooting these extra like this because uh, I want to show the brand that, you know, this is this is how I see it. This is how I see, you know, the campaign that you're looking for going. Um, and hopefully they love them. And I, obviously they did want some of these uh, for some of the clothing, but, you know, I'm pushing this fact, even though I still have to do other shots in, you know, the gray backdrop and so forth. That's another thing with this x Pro, which I really love. I had both backdrops on this. I had the gray over the white, and it takes two seconds just to pull down the gray because you just 
you know, unloop it and take it down. And if you want it back, you just put it right back on. Um, so it's, it's really easy to have this, you know, this sweat swap out, um, and it takes two seconds. So that's another reason I'm still using the sex truck pro. And I have a whole shoot again, a corporate shoot tomorrow, um, with this system and it's going to do what it has to do. Um, I, I love this system. You do have to take care of it. It's, you know, it's aluminum and it's not like the strongest stuff in the world, but if you take care of it, it'll last forever. Anyway, I'm, I just wanted to share the shoot with you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. This is the Fuji EF-X20. You can get them used off of eBay. They're a little pricey, uh, but they work. But there's any kind of on-camera flash is going to do the same thing for you. Um, I like this look because it is so close to the lens. And I know there's new flashes out there that are also really close to the lens. Uh, I think the the Godox Junior um, is close to the lens as well. That may be a great alternative to this if you don't want to spend this kind of money. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the look that I like, so this is what I'm using. I hope you enjoyed the shoot. Again, ask any questions you need to know down below. I will get to them, and if I don't get to them, I apologize. I will get to them later. Uh, sometimes I'm just, just a little slow with that. Have a great day.